Hey guys and welcome to my first quick edit video where I will show you some cool editing tips and tricks without boring you for a full 30 minutes. A lot of video editing tools have what is called a ripple edit mode. As you trim your clips and cut up your video, the tool automatically deletes any gaps between the consecutive clips and pushes them all together into one seamless sequence. Adobe Premiere Pro is a little bit different and it does not actually have a ripple edit mode. There is no option to automatically delete gaps between consecutive clips as you trim and cut. Now this is very much intentional and as I've discussed in my advanced editing tutorial for Adobe Premiere Pro, there are many more intelligent ways to edit your film project together in the first place. However, sometimes you just happen to end up with a sequence in Premiere Pro that contains a lot of gaps and there is no easy way to get rid of them all other than to go through them one by one and deleting them manually. Fortunately, there is a neat little trick that you can use in Adobe Premiere to essentially ripple delete all gaps in one hit and in this quick edit tutorial, I'm going to show you how. Here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro and here is one of my clips already chopped up to be turned into a proper tutorial. As you can see, because I just played through my video and cut out all the pieces that I want to keep, I now have a whole lot of gaps in my project. Obviously, to form a coherent video, I need to get rid of all of these gaps. You have a couple of options to get rid of all of your gaps. Two are pretty manual and cumbersome and one of them is actually really quick. Let's zoom back in and the most simplistic option obviously is to just keep selecting piece after piece of video and drag them over and snap them to the previous clip. A slightly quicker way is simply to right click into the gap between two clips and then select ripple delete. This will delete the gap and automatically move all following clips forward in time to snap them together. While this is quite an effective way to get rid of your gaps, especially when you have very tiny gaps between consecutive clips, this can be a little bit cumbersome. Fortunately, there's a very simple way to delete all gaps in your entire sequence at once and collapse all of the clips together. Go into your project panel, click on the new item icon and then select bars and tone. You can leave all of these settings at their default values. For this particular technique, it doesn't really matter. Simply hit OK. Let's go back to the beginning and zoom in a little bit and let's drop the bars and tone item that we've just created into our sequence. Make sure that the audio and the video track for the bars and tone item sit on their own video and audio tracks. I'm simply going to drag the video clip upwards one and the audio clip downwards into tracks so they sit in their dedicated lanes and then I'm going to extend them. Keep extending this clip until it spans your entire sequence and all of the gaps that you want to collapse. Let's zoom out a little bit. Yep, the bass and tone clip now spans our entire sequence and it covers all of the gaps that we want to get rid of. Now, we only really need either the video or the audio track for the bass and tone item, so right click on the item and select unlink from the drop down menu. Now, it doesn't really matter which particular track you want to delete, I'm simply going to delete the audio track. Now, here comes the trick. Select all of the video clips with the gaps that you want to delete. Zoom in a little bit and let's drag all of the selected video clips that we have sitting right below the bass and tone video track upwards onto the bass and tone. Make sure that as you're dragging these clips onto the bass and tone item, the shift time indicator is set to zero. We don't actually want to be moving these clips backwards or forward in time, we just want to shift them on top of the bass and tone video. Now with all of these individual video clips still selected, let's drag them back down into the individual video lane. Again, make sure that the time shift indicator is set to zero and let go. Now what we have done, we've turned the bass and tone into Swiss cheese. We've cut holes into the bass and tone everywhere where we have a video or an audio track. This now left pieces of the bass and tone video track covering all of the gaps that we want to get rid of. The very last thing we need to do is zoom out of our sequence again all the way until we can see all of the items and now select all of the bass and tone video track items. So everything that is aligned with the gaps that we want to get rid of. Just make sure it's all selected. Right click and now select ripple delete. Bam! And just like that, all of the gaps in our sequence are gone. Because we had bass and tone items spanning all of the gaps that we wanted to get rid of and all of those areas are the ones we've ripple deleted and collapsed, we now have a nice seamless series of clips to define our sequence. Now, I can't claim credit for this technique. 
I think I've seen it on Creative Cow or maybe on YouTube. So to whoever came up with this technique, thank you very much. It is a really simple technique and I use it a whole lot because most of my tutorials I have a large amount of video footage in one stretch, be it for screen recording or just talking to the camera that I need to chop up. And because Adobe Premiere does not automatically collapse the gaps, this is a really easy way to get rid of them. And that is all there is to it. I really hope you enjoyed my first quick edit tutorial. And as always, if you do have any comments, questions or suggestions, just leave them down in the section below. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, favorite it and share it with the world. And if you do want to see more cool filmmaking and visual effects tutorials, make sure to go to youtube.com slash surface studio and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, I will see you later.